Greetings, it is March 9th, 2014. We are in uh, a Boston Burb. I am with uh, Dr. James Davis, Associate Professor of English at Brooklyn College, who was uh, intrigued by this um, artwork of mine. This is an offset litho uh, published by West Publishing Company in St. Paul of a original artwork they purchased and owned called The Prisoner. Dr. Davis, I presume. So, thanks for having me on. I think, Thank you. Um, what really struck me about the about the image, first of all, was the, was the color. Um, it just got such an interesting range um, of colors overlaid onto this incredibly intricate. Um, it's it's almost like an etching. It looks as the appearance of an etching, and. Um, it's, uh, it's fascinating because each shape, there's all these organic shapes that seem to kind of blend into these non-organic shapes. And then I feel also like there are birds shapes in here, maybe beaks or things like that. Really? Can know. we They're see? Like, um, like, I don't know, this image down here ah, yes, seems kind of bird-like. Sure. And, and this one this one up here as well. So I was kind of intrigued by that and then I was also trying to get a sense of, of the, the st structure of the thing as a, as a whole. It was just intriguing to me. One thing I wondered when I was looking at it was um, whether it was influenced by, um, by like Northwest indigenous kind of iconography because I feel like there's some echoes in here of like the kind of the totem structures um, especially in this this kind of segment in through here so that was just really intriguing can I respond to, to that please yeah <laughs> so hi I am the artist it says uh, it's signed Ken Akiva Segan I later became Akiva Ken Segan or Akiva Kenny Segan I shall have to um, uh, um, point out that uh, while I've lived in the Pacific Northwest in Seattle since um, 1980, um, and for several years when I was doing drawings, my first few years in Seattle, I did get asked, well, people did say, I see a Native American Northwest influence yeah. in some of the drawings I was doing back then, um, 30 years ago. Uh, but I did this in Missouri before <laughs> before I so moved any, to Seattle. So any influence was purely coincidental. Perhaps. Well, I had visited Seattle twice, like in 76 and 77, for a few days each time, but yeah, purely uh -huh. coincidental. That's now, I do have a, a question for you. Yeah. Professor, this is going to be a test of your visual um, acuity. Okay. Where is the prisoner? Okay. I think I saw the prisoner. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost the prisoner. No, I would suggest looking at it section by section. One way you could do that would be to think of it in quadrants, like okay. lower left, lower right, yeah. you know, upper left, right, and so on. You have 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Once I you I find thought I the prisoner, he will be, or it will be, the prisoner will be jumping out at you. Yeah. Until then. <laughs> is this is this the prisoner right okay, here? Okay, look at it closely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Move the camera and tell me where you see the prisoner. And well, ha I could be wrong, but this part feels like the head shape, and this like an arm. Is that? The professor needs to dust off his glasses, <laughs> I have to tell you, shall I? Should please, I? yes, please okay. reveal. See this yeah. square section and the circular within it? Yeah. And there are vertical, oh, I see verticals, now. horizontal. I see now. Here's the I head, yeah. eyes, ears. Uh, there's his mouth. Yeah. And hands, the bars. I see hands the bars, Hands holding too. the bars. Yeah. Uh, his, um, on viewer's left, his right hand, on viewer's right, his left hand. Yeah. And and you're not the only one who very subtle. who didn't, it, didn't see it even after studying it for minutes. It, it's happened. And is this one of because I know from your other work is this all, is this 
sort of a variation on the calendar? Um, well, actually, so there, so there was, you mentioned etching when we first started the uh, filming. Yeah. So it's mainly an ink drawing uh -huh. with some, I don't know, white pencil and watercolor, whatever. But there are two block prints here, yeah. linoleum blocks. One I had done years earlier of an Aztec calendar stone, which is how we have this shape. And, and then I overprinted another block print I did, which is a foot square of, called Tom Mooney, Political Prisoner. He was a labor. Oh, Tom Mooney, sure. Yeah, famous uh, American labor history in California. And then there are actually these sections here that are, that have this, uh, these kind of like black lines mm -hmm. over this, I don't know, pale blue and whatever. These are um, etching plate sections I mm -hmm. had printed on the uh, larger sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. The original is, closer to the size of the frame mm -hmm. than it is in the uh, offset litho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, That's Dr. Great. Davis, Professor, you you've done that. very well. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> Anything else you wish to uh, add here? No, I don't think so. Before we sign off. Thank you. Okay. Thanks.